Hi guys, welcome back to Mala Image. If this is your first time, hi, my name is Roche. I'm a lover of fashion, the business of fashion. I'm also a little obsessed with vintage. If this is your first time, I do a lot of styling content here, primarily through thrifted finds, and then I style them up for you. So if you do like styling content, please consider and subscribe, and I'd love for you to join the family. So today's thrift haul I got from the American Thrift Store. Um, if you remember, this is where I got that amazing YSL raffia bag and that beaded kind of stud dupe bag as well. Those two awesome bags. The first time I went there, I was, I remember saying in the video, oh, there's all these sweaters, there's just a little section for dresses, and then there's some swimsuits, and then everything else is like homey, homer, brick and brack type things. So I went back another time trying to try it out again because I got those two bags and I'm like, um, I want to see what, a, what other gems they'd have. And there was just sweaters again. So I said to the cashier, I'm like, when do the spring stuff come out? And she's like, try back in April um, or late April. I'm like, okay. I went back this time. Again, all sweaters. So I'm like, what is happening? Anyhow, I went to the back section and I was walking through and I kept hearing the sound, ting, 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 ting. When I look, there's like a step going upstairs. I'm like, why did I not notice? <laughs> there's an upstairs. I think the last time I was there, it was probably, I don't, no one was going up because they also had an elevator. I, n no, I had no idea. There's an old second floor and that's where the dresses are, the tops. <laughs> they had shoes up there. <laughs> Oh my god, I am such an airhead. So I was able to go upstairs and give it a good look through. And so I'll go into the thrift with me and then I'll come back here and show you what I got. <laughs> Thank you. 
So first of all, I completely busted the budget and you're gonna see why. <laughs> Typically since my um, thrift bus videos, I've been trying to maintain a $50 budget. Well today, um, for this haul, I did go over just, you know, a little bit, $15 something. <laughs> And I'll show you why in a bit. I did get some homeware, well, more glassware items, so I'll start out with those first. First up are these two little shot glasses. I thought they were the cutest things. And these were for $1.99, so $2. Now the reason I wanted these, sometimes I make like a ginger, um, lemon ginger shot and I typically have it warm but when I'm in a hurry I just I still want to have it so I just take a shot and run out the door you know there are more fun things you could do with shot glasses but no I'm thinking about <laughs> my lemon ginger shots for these and you know it would just be fun you know having good things for my body in a pretty way so I got these <laughs> because I don't actually have any shot glasses. So that's the first thing I got. Next thing I got is this awesome little plate. And I just really liked the design, right? I saw, I like the little designs on it. I think it would be great for like jewelry display. It also has like this little gold um, piping on it, which I thought was really cute. This was $6, $5.99. So just a really elegant, cute little plate for jewelry display which is why i got it so that's the next thing that i got so cute the last glassware item that i got is this little goblet right here it just has like a red rim i love this like gothic style um detailing on the glass so in all i got four of these and this was uh the price fell off but i think they were probably ten dollars oh yeah um 9.99 for the four of them you know i like to feel quite elegant when i'm drinking my water so so <laughs> so i thought i'd get these goblets and i thought ten dollars for four of these was a good deal so i decided to grab these because they're so they're so cute imagine you know some nice like lemon water for the spring summer in this awesome the next item i found were a pair of shoes and i know every week i said i'm not thrifting shoes <laughs> i do well enough buying shoes retail but when i saw these i thought these were the perfect loafers for spring summer i just loved this deep cognac color i love the gold detailing right here it just it felt very gucci to me <laughs> So I just thought I would take these. These were also $9.99. So, you know, I just, you know, these are going to be perfect, you know, with jeans, with just like dress pants or slacks or whatever you call them. I think these would be perfect 
for now weather so i got these <laughs> i love the, the toe on these as well i yeah i just just a perfect nice um low heel pair of leather shoes so that's the next thing that i got next i did find one pair of pants i'm still looking i'm always looking for pants i think um especially high-waisted relaxed fit pants and so i found these and um i love that it was paper bag waist i think this will be nice and flattering this is what the back looks like it has these three um loops right here so just nice and relaxed i love it came in at the waist and just flows out which i think will be very flattering on my body type and this is by jones new york um it's it's gonna be a little big it's a size six but for what i want it for i think it'll be perfect and i think it'll fit nice in the waist as well so i yeah i love the color i love the feel of it it's it's an it feels nice and soft um but it's you know a good weight to it as well so this is the next thing that i got so before i realized that there was an upstairs i was of course dumbfoundedly looking through the sweaters <laughs> couldn't resist this one i love a nice little mock neck i love the stripes on this as well so i decided to grab this it's a lightweight knit so perfect for um now not it's not a heavy sweater i think also for that little scandy um type look with the shirt around um a white shirt i thought this would have been perfect for that as well so um yeah i'll have fun styling this as well as wear it for cooler days with a mock neck so i got this one this is by talbots and it's a size medium so it will fit nice and relax um of course this is an older talbots it's probably like 90s talbots which is perfect <laughs> so this is the next thing that i got i love when i can find dresses and I found two this time and this one I thought this was such a beautiful color we're doing a lot of like pink and reds it's actually more like an orangey color they're doing a lot of orange and reds and pink and reds um, currently and this is a nice little wrap dress I loved that it was a wrap dress it's a little shorter for when it warms up some more even though it's still a long sleeve I do love a longer sleeve if I'm going a shorter dress and this is sheer so it's gonna be nice and breathable and lightweight so it's not gonna be hot regardless um, and it was new with tags this is by oh it's actually by Cynthia Rowley so you know pretty decent brand I know of Cynthia Rowley and so this is the pink poppy dress this was for $12.99 I'm surprised they didn't mark it up more than that for for Cynthia Rowley but yeah so I just really love the flutter around the neck I mean I'm not holding it up for you to see it properly it's hard to show it like this but um I'll try it when you when I try this on you'll be able to see what it really looks like so this is the next piece and this is a size small so this should fit me as it should fit allegedly <laughs> now the piece that broke the budget you saw me look on some vintage dresses there was one of them particularly that i could have left i should have left but i didn't and <laughs> it's this one i just really loved the color of this um i loved the statement shoulders there's a decent amount of shoulder pads in here i just really loved this color combo and because it's a um darker print you know it's great for spring it's great for summer it's great for fall so i definitely had to had to had to get this i almost left it this is what broke the budget this was 29.99 so it's a 30 dollar dress but for vintage like this it's in pristine condition um this is by liz roberts it's a size 10. so this is what the tag looks like so this is the last thing that i have right here it does have these little flowers here i may take these off just to modernize it i don't think i need to do much more and actually 
the bow is like pinned on. So I won't have to do, I'm not sure if you can see that. So there's a pin there where I could literally just take the bow off. I think it's also sewed on, but I don't think it would be, um, I don't think it would really disrupt the dress too much if I try to remove the button, if I try to remove the flowers, and I think that's the most um, distinct thing to make it that vintage. So I don't know what it's gonna look like on. I didn't try it on, it's a size 10. Of course, it's a vintage size 10, so it shouldn't be that much bigger on me, but you know, I have high hopes. <laughs> I couldn't leave it. I have high hopes in this dress. So this is a final thing that I got. Oh my goodness. So yeah, let's go into try-ons and see what these things look like. <laughs> so first up are these pants. They actually fit really well in the waist and just overall, which when I saw how the shape of the pants look i had really high hopes and they didn't disappoint so i just put it on with these silver um strappy heels uh these are via spiga and this neutral toned sleeveless top i think the neutral tone really picks up well this little stripe um neutral tone in the gray so adding that gray and neutral together with this little silver i think works really well I dressed it up with this little belt that I recently thrifted, this vintage Gucci tote, and um, it's time to bring out the sunglasses. So these are these are these square lens by Chloe. I forgot what the name of these are, um, but yeah, this is how I'd wear these pants. This would also look great with like a t-shirt with like a oversized knit. Um, yeah, I just love the fit of it. It feels really comfortable on. This is going to be such a go-to. It feels like it will be quite breathable as well. So, um, yeah, with just a sleeveless tank for, um, spring, summer, I think this, you know, for spring going into the summer, I think this will be a really, really good addition to my closet. So this is the first look. So next up is a sweater. It is not exactly showing you. <laughs> what the sweater looks like but when I picked it up I really wanted to see what it would look like in a more preppy style thrown over the shoulder I'm wearing this longer line short my brocade um, I think we call it brocade type shoes with the cutout the black and white and just to make it preppy but relaxed the sunglasses are out these are Ray-Bans the sun's out so the <laughs> I've pulled back out my sunglasses because the shorts are so high-waisted though I kind of I'm not sure if I prefer the shirt tucked in or um, you know half tucked let me know in the comment section <laughs> if it's fully tucked in or half tucked for the shirt but just to see it thrown over because I love that little black and white I'm just in that <laughs> black and white zone right now so this is what it looks like tucked in I will try the top on <laughs> and I'd pair it with this limited the limited bucket bag I've had this for years I just love the um, croc bucket bag situation i love the little sheen it has on it as well so this is with it tucked in let me know guys if you prefer it tucked in or you know half tucked but this is how i've styled uh this sweater because i really just wanted to see this <laughs> this little um this little throw over look but yeah Next up is this dress by Cynthia Rowley. Uh, I love how playful it is. I love the colors of it. I just grabbed this, um, my Prada Galleria, um, because I also wanted to show you the shoes, what these look like on. Hopefully you can see that. And I think um, playing with the orange tones and just keeping it casual, I could definitely dress the dress down. Strangely enough, the sleeves do feel a bit um close <laughs> compared to the rest of the dress it feels a little tight on my arm but outside of that it's just a really pretty color i love just how you know fun and flirty it is but i can also dress it up a little bit more i have my vintage beaded bag and i've styled it with these mew mew 
um like mary jane shoes they're very low heels so if you have if there's like a garden event or you know a brunch or some kind of day party i think this would be perfect um whether spring or summer because like i said the sleeves even though it's long sleeve it's almost sheer it's very thin it's very breathable so i definitely get away with wearing it even though it's a long sleeve because it's short it's breezy it's airy and so <laughs> i think even as a wedding guest dress this would work out great for i'm not invited to any weddings so for me this would be like an awesome brunch outfit um yeah so this is what the vintage dress looks like on. I just wanted you to see it in its full glory before I deconstructed it a little bit. <laughs> so I do love the movement of this dress. I love the statement. Shoulder is giving me very Alexander Reich. They borrow from the 80s a lot and this is definitely a silhouette that reminds me of Alexander Reich. This is what it looks like with the little flowers on. It blends into the floral pattern very well so you know it doesn't even jump out as much but i'd still absolutely remove it um it was a size or should i say it is a size 10 i think if i had found it in a smaller size it would definitely um sit on my figure a lot more but i think even by just throwing on a belt to cinch the waist it will make such a huge difference on this dress and i don't think there's anything else that i need to do with this dress other than remove the flower to make it ver to make it wearable because i love these really um statement shoulders anyway this is really up my street so i i would do nothing with these shoulders i'd leave them just as is and just try to define the waist a little more and that's exactly what i'm gonna do so this is what the dress looks like now that i've removed the bow and i actually had to take two things off first of all this is what the bow looks like um it was on this little pin and they kind of use a little third to hold it down. So first I took this off and then I noticed this was also on it. <laughs> and it's just this little um, like lapel type thing that was underneath the flowers. So I've taken both of them off and this is what the dress looks like. As usual, I pull the sleeves up and just give it more of a you know more modern twist with a shorter sleeve and this is what the dress looks like and i love it this is so relaxed and flowy um i just put on this vintage ferragamo it has a little gold um thing on the side here but the belt buckle itself is very understated and i've been playing around with the idea of something a little more statement for the belt so this would be the option if i went a little more statement in the buckle there's a way to do vintage and vintage because most of my um statement belts are vintage so pairing a vintage belt with a vintage dress you know you have to toe the line i think but i think it definitely works in this situation i'm not trying to hide the fact that it's vintage inspired because right now there are lots of current dresses that are being made like this which are vintage inspired so i love this i love the flow of it i love the color of it um at some angles it actually looks navy blue <laughs> because of the color tones in it but yeah this is perfect and it being a little bigger than me it actually gives me um some room for it to fall on my curves so yeah i just <laughs> i just love this so guys that's it thank you so much for watching don't forget to let me know in the comment section what look was your favorite what piece is your favorite as well if you haven't yet subscribed i'd love for you to join the family and if you did like this video please give it a like and i'll see you guys in the next one